Hi guys, in this tutorial we are going to look at what is the use of levels in advanced steel. Why levels? Levels can be used to bind walls and columns to different RLs at creation time. Also it helps to chain the UCS automatically depending upon the view you are interested in allows us to limit the depth of view we need to many a times limit what we see in the model to avoid clutter so levels will help us here and also it helps to change the point of view the levels are displayed in the project explorer you can access the project explorer by clicking the project explorer in the home and the project panel let us create the first level so we click on the level button the first level we are going to add at an altitude of zero hence we are going to accept the defaults and say ok let's add another level so click on the level button again and this time it comes up with the level name a default name you can edit it the altitude and height we are going to accept the default and say ok when you create a level, a work plane is also created by default. You can see that it's created by default here. So you can switch it on and off. Please note when you create level, you can also put a height or an altitude from the base level. And the new level will be created at that height from the base level. How elements are attached to the levels and the work planes are uh, explained here in uh, this uh, knowledge based document. I've got a PDF this document and uh, insert into our website. If you visit our website on advanced steel tab, you can download this document. According to the knowledge based document, walls and columns whether they are steel or concrete will be always attached to two work planes that define the activated level slabs and beams whether they are concrete or steel will be always attached to the work plane that defines the upper part of the activated level hi guys thank you for watching the video and if you like the video please subscribe